to serve and empower in a loving and dignified way persons with disabilities. In doing so, we hope to bring out the best in them and in us so that together we can build a better world. Join us to serve. Be part of the Rainbow Foundation. Touch a heart. Touch a life. On to you. Chers internautes, bonjour, bienvenue sur le GRF Web TV. Aujourd'hui est rendez-vous de chaque semaine. Chaque lundi, nous tout connaît que vous êtes fidèles au rendez-vous pour assister à l'émission en direct du GRF Web TV, c'est-à-dire à cœur ouvert. À cœur ouvert, aujourd'hui, il est pour exceptionnellement différent dans le sens que L'émission pour en anglais majoritairement et en partie en français. So I, I'm just going to shift immediately. So today's program, GRF Web TV program, it would be so mostly in broadcast in, in English and also partly in French. So today's topic, today's topic is something very unusual in the sense that we are going to welcome friends from different parts of the world. And today we're going to talk about book share. Well, what's a book share? Well, importance of books. We all know importance of books in our life, in our daily life. Each one of us, books, newspapers, magazines, those who can read, we can't live without books. But what about those who can't read because of visual impairment? What about those who can't read for other problems like dyslexia and others? So fortunately, we've got this platform called Bookshare. So, I'm not going to say more than that for the time being, and we are going to welcome our different guests. So this morning, I have the huge pleasure to welcome amongst us Dr. Umiyar Mubebchi. Dr. Umiyar, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you nice and clear. Thank you so much Excellent. for inviting Excellent. We're going to come back to you. So let me have the honor and privilege to introduce Dr. Homiyar. So Dr. Homiyar himself is a disability expert, accessibility consultant, inclusive education using assistive technology consultant, program management, Asia and Africa at Benetech. Well, Dr. Homiyar is a highly experienced professional in the field of accessibility, inclusive education, accessible content creation and affordable assistive technologies skilled in management non-governmental organizations 
is himself a trainer, public speaker. So welcome, Dr. Umiar. Thank you. Thank you so much. We, we also welcome this morning Zainab Chinikamwala. Zainab, are you there? Yes. Hi. Good morning, everybody. Very good morning. I have the pleasure. Bonjour, Zainab. Just to make the difference. Oui, 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 ça va. Voilà. Zainab, you are very pleased. Oui. J'ai eu un grand plaisir d'être avec vous. Okay, so Zainab is also from India. We're going to talk more, knowing Zainab more in a few minutes. So Zainab herself is a head of membership at Bookshare, and she's also involved in volunteering with Google. Okay, she's also a French teacher in India. Soon. All right. Okay, so we also have this morning amongst us, Lois Strachan. Lois, are you there? Good morning. Yes, I'm here. Bonjour. Very good morning. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. And yourself? I'm excellent. Thank you so much. So, Lois, is, uh, I'm, am I pronouncing the name correctly? Is it correct, Lois? Yes, you are correct. Okay, thank, excellent. I'm Rama. Okay, good. So, good morning, uh, Lois is a regular user of Bookshare herself, and she's going to tell us more about Bookshare. So, également, sur le plateau, I'm going to speak some, some French also, okay, at the same time. Well, we have today uh, with us Dr. Uh, 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 Professor Pasuraman. Professor Pasuraman, how are you? Is Professor Pasuraman among us? My mic was off. Uh, okay. Uh, good morning, Rama. Yeah. Good morning, Very Rama. good morning. How are you? I will. Uh, I will just say a few words uh, to uh, to add to what you have said to welcome our guest. Yes. So let me first so, so thank Dr. Omiya. Dr. Pochuraman, one second, please. Let me just complete the rest of the of the guest today, and then I will give you back to the mic. Okay. So we have okay. amongst us also. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. yeah, please. We have got uh, Rishi Rampati. Rishi, how are you? I'm good, uh, Rama. How are you? I'm excellent. Excellent. Okay, Richie is going to tell, so, uh, tell us more about himself. Richie is himself uh, visually impaired, so he's going to tell us more about he also a, a regular user of, of, of Bookshare. We also have Keshini among us. Keshini, you're there. Okay. We've got Keshini and we've got also BJ. BJ, Ramkian. BJ. Hi, good morning. Good morning, Very everyone. Good morning. So I, I don't think, have, have I missed someone? Amina? Amina, yes, Amina. Bonjour, tu es là? Oui, let's go. Okay, so we can't hear Amina for the time being. Uh, over to Dr. Posuramen. Dr. Posuramen, please proceed with the introduction. Thank you, thank you, uh, Rama. I think I got a good introduction. Let me uh, especially extend a very warm welcome to Dr. Omiya and Zainab from Bookshare, uh, we have a long-standing collaboration. Uh, Professor Pasuraman, I'm, I'm really sorry. We can hear you very, very low. Okay. Those not using their mic, can you turn off your mic when others are speaking? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, now, BJ? Yeah, better. Uh, so... I wanted to say that Dr. Omiya and, uh, and uh, Zainab, we have a long-standing collaboration. Dr. Omiya has been to Mauritius a few times, and uh, Zainab also came. So Bookshare, uh, uh, Mauritius is very familiar with uh, both Dr. Omiya and uh, Zainab for their wonderful contribution in promoting Bookshare, but most importantly, in providing access to print disabled uh, persons in Mauritius, and this has been of great, immense help to the visually impaired who have, been, who have taken advantage of this program. So we are, today is a very special day because it's, it's part of a series of campaign we are launching to promote Bookshare in Mauritius and in Africa. I, I, so therefore, I would like to thank Dr. Amir for all his constant support at all levels, and with uh, Benetech itself, but also with Global Rainbow Foundation 
and other partners helping to bring together this program. And now we are also having a collaboration with Commonwealth of Learning, where Dr. Omiya is also playing a very key role there. So with these few words only of appreciation and recognition, Dr. Omiya and Zainab, let me say we are very happy to have both of you and I'm sure you'll enlighten us more on what are the uh, uh, possibilities of future collaboration, but also how can we uh, make Bookshare the most popular tool for visually impaired in Mauritius and in Africa, and also in the, uh, in the Commonwealth countries. Um, let me also welcome now a very special guest, Lois Stratton, who has been introduced to me by Miss Engie from Toastmaster South Africa. And Lois Stratton, uh, whom I got to know a few weeks, a few days ago, is a best-selling author, professional <laughs> speaker, digital disability advocate, blogger, accessible travel podcaster, and sometimes rock musician. She is totally blind. She lost her sight at the age of 21 as a result of diabetic retinopathy. Well, uh, I will, uh, what I would like to say that Lois is a very impressive personality, and I'm glad that she visited Mauritius some time back on a very special occasion, and she's been doing a wonderful work in, uh, uh, in uh, South Africa, and uh, right... Uh, uh, giving motivational speak, speeches, writing and publishing books, and also working on dis digital accessibility of websites and training materials. And uh, she has experience speaking and writing coach, and we love to see her clients actually more than the dream possible. So Lois has a BA honors at the University of KwaZulu, Natu, uh, and is a distinguished Toastmaster and has a diploma in coaching. In 2015, she was awarded a Tributes Excellence Award in the category of Education and Literature. Then in 2017, she was the recipient of the prestigious citation of Toastmaster International. I, uh, she lives in Cape Town, South Africa, and with her husband, a house full of dogs one of whom is a beloved guide dog, Gigi. So with this, uh, I, I wanted to present Lois a bit more extensively because she's new to the GRF family. And also, I have talked to Dr. Omiya about the intervention that Lois will make today. Uh, because I think she would be of great asset to us, not only inspiring, but also contributing from the, from the South Africa angle and also together with us in Africa. So, Lois, a very warm welcome to you. And uh, now you will, you, you, you will be with Dr. Omiya and Zaina. So thank you very much once again for accepting to be with us. And we look forward to a long collaboration with you and also uh, with the team Bookshare and the Global Rainbow Foundation. I, I, would, I would like to have a special word of thanks to Rishi, Rampati, who is, uh, who is our employability trainer from Global Rainbow Foundation. Um, he also has a very interesting story. He turned blind at the age of 40, but now with Global Rainbow Foundation and with his own self-confidence and determination, he's now doing a fantastic job for Global Rainbow Foundation as a, an employability trainer. So with these few words, Rama, I don't want to wait anymore to listen to our distinguished participants. So I leave it to you now, Rama, to take on and uh, and guide the discussion. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Bosraman. So each and every one, welcome on board once more. We just remind our viewers that this morning we, have, we are having a special uh, GRF Web TV program. Normally it's in Creole or in French, but today exceptionally it will be English because most of our guests speak English, though we have someone speaking French also amongst us. Okay, so Dr. Homier, welcome. Welcome. It's a huge pleasure to welcome you. So please tell our viewers more, our listeners more about Bookshare. 
bookshare exactly. Thank you, Rama. Thank you. And I thank GRF, especially Professor Parsuraman and my friend Rishi for organizing the special show and uh, making some allowances for me to speak in English because it would have been extremely difficult for me to speak in French. Probably I know you the can, only you word. Always try good of mine. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> the only word I know is bonjour. <laughs> okay, bonjour, Alain. Bonjour. Right. So, Bookshare is a Benedict project. Benedict is a not for profit organization based out of California, USA. Mm -hmm. And Benedict has been working in the field of providing access to print materials for people with print disability for the last 21 years now. Okay. So you, you, Bookshare, you've said 21 years, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Bookshare was established. The project Bookshare was established way back in 2000. Mm -hmm. It started off as a small time initiative. In those days, technology was not this uh, prominent. So people had to scan their books. People had to put their books on a huge scanner. Those scanners were very huge in those days. And then they were called reading machines. So they had to scan individual books and then read them. So it was the founder's decision, the person who founded Bookshare, Jim Fructiman, that let mm -hmm. us compile all these compilations, uh, people who had scanned all this material and put them on one platform so that other people can use those same materials and do not have to scan and read them again. Mm -hmm. And that platform was Benedict. And that platform was Benedict. That platform was provided by Benedict. Okay. So from this humble beginnings, we started collecting content from individual users and putting them across to other users. But within the first five years itself, we thought that just scanning and creating content for people is not adequate so we started mm -hmm. reaching out to publishers globally and within the next 15 years as we speak today we yeah. have a huge collection of books on bookshare which is directly donated to us by more than 950 publishers globally so bookshare Select. currently is the world's largest online accessible library for people with print disability Mm -hmm. It's not just for the blind, it's also there for people with low vision, people with learning disabilities like dyslexia, slow learners, those people who have issues with their hands, dexterity of their fingers, they cannot hold cerebral or turn palsy page. Also, cerebral palsy also. Yes, because for them also, sometimes holding a book or turning a page of the book is difficult. The head positions. So keep on moving because of their disability. So even they mm -hmm. are considered as print disabled. So mm -hmm. all these people, Bookshare provides them a huge opportunity to read content in a way that suits them. For yeah. example, Bookshare has got more than a million books in okay. 35 languages spread mm -hmm. across 50 different genres. Mm -hmm. So now you can imagine there is a book for anybody on any topic that you want to read. More yeah. and about that, Bookshare also provides options. Each title on Bookshare can be downloaded in different formats. You can download the book as EPUB or Daisy with images or Daisy text only or Word or BRF. Now mm. these formats provide the user the opportunity to read the content in a way that he or she is comfortable with. Yeah. I'll expand on this. For example, if a user is a Braille reader, mm -hmm. you can download a BRF file and load it on your refreshable Braille machine and read it. If the reader is using laptop or Android, you can mm -hmm. download an EPUB file and read it on your laptop or your Android or your iOS device. Yeah, if sorry to reader, interrupt. Sorry, sorry, sorry to interrupt you to remind our viewers that uh, at the later stage, you are going to watch a, a little a short video uh, just to enhance what Dr. Homier is just uh, telling us right now. Okay, please proceed. Thank you. So, quickly summarizing, Bookshare provides a lot of options. 
a lot of options to people who till now could not access standard printed text. We provide them with the knowledge because reading is a fundamental right of every individual, regardless of your disability. If you cannot read, you don't get knowledge. If you don't get knowledge, you cannot compete with your sighted counterparts or your non-disabled counterparts in the general society. Mm -hmm. And this is paramount when you start your education, your educational content needs to be accessible as a person with print disability. You have the same right to reading as your other non-disabled students. As a non-disabled student, you have opportunities to go into various streams of education like science and STEM education. So yeah. even that should be available to people with print disabilities and especially visually impaired people. Yeah. So by yeah. making content digital, you are creating career opportunities for people who want to go into various streams, different streams and get themselves prepared for future employment. Mm -hmm. So all these options are extremely important. And it yeah. starts with the fundamental right of reading. I'll pause here, Rama, and take more questions as they come. Yeah. Dr. Omir, thank you so much, because we're going to come back to you in a few minutes. So uh, let's uh, welcome our two, uh, our other guests also on this platform. So we've got, as we have mentioned, Rishi, Lois, and Zainab. Then I, I guess it's high time to, to listen to you. And uh, uh, would you like to express yourself in French? If you want to speak in French, there's no problem. But uh, do, will Dr. Omir be comfortable if Zainab speaks in French? Let's listen. And Lois also. Lois, do you understand French? Un petit peu être. Okay. So I, I'm mostly speaking English. Would you be comfortable with French or Zainab would, should, should not it with in English? English would be easier for me, but okay. I can Zainab, sorry for that. English people. English. I, I, I can do. I can do both. I, what I will do is I will translate for the viewers. And, Excellent. Uh, uh, je peux parler en anglais ou en français si c'est possible. C'est tout à fait possible. On vous donne le droit, la permission. Vous êtes. Vous avez l'autorisation. <laughs> okay. So uh, as Dr. Homier said that there's a wide variety of books uh, in uh, Bookshare. There is another side also, which is that if a child is in school, if a person with vision impairment is in school, a child, and he just does not have any clue about the diagrams, the images the teacher is speaking in the school about. So our books have each image described for a person who cannot see the image. Uh, je vais dire ça en français. Si vous êtes, vous avez, il y a un enfant qui va à l'école qui est pour tous les enfants, inclusion, il y a tous les enfants, aveugle ou non, okay? malvoyant ou non voyant, ou voyant, toutes sortes d'étudiants, vous, à Bookshare, nous avons des livres qui ont des descriptions pour chaque image que vous avez dans votre livre. Si il y a une image d'une de, 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 oreille, on va décrire tous les chose de l'oreille où il y a un garçon qui joue dans le jardin l'image va il y a une description qui va dire il y a un garçon qui joue dans le jardin avec un chien ou avec une fille bla 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 okay. des choses comme ça ok so Zainab let me put you a question at this stage ok Zainab oh. has been explaining to each number one I have in mind a famous cartoon like Tintin do you know Tintin and, and oh, yes 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lois should know about Tintin am I right Lois ok so can someone have access a uh, smiling just right now ok so can can, can someone uh, like uh, visually impaired or blind 
uh, read thinking uh, out of bookshare exhibition if just now as of now we do not have tintin but uh, if there would be some request then i guess we would be able to do something about it yeah. no, not, it's not about tintin exclusively i'm just taking tintin yes. as an yes 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 you can read uh, because there is an image description there too and if you see in the tintin comic there is always something written in the cartoon above above that so okay. you know you can let, read let, that thank you thank you zainab let's let's listen to lois lois okay now you as a user okay, okay. professor paul raman has been introducing you uh, well sufficiently but you can still say something about yourself no problem about i think for me i've always been a very avid reader when i was a child i always had a book with me it was one of the things that my parents used to shake their heads and say lois reads so many books and then when i became blind at the age of 21 obviously i had to go through the transition of learning the blindness skills mm -hmm. but for me one of the biggest challenges was that i didn't initially have access to books okay. <clears throat> and as has already been mentioned books are leisure their entertainment their relaxation but they're also crucially a way that i gain information mm -hmm. and having access to libraries like the bookshare library has been revolutionary for me because it's given me access to books that i can choose what i want to read in the format that i want to read in a genre that i want to read and i love the ease of access mm -hmm. to the books and you know i can search for books by their author by the title of the book or mm -hmm. i can look under the genres and yeah. say i feel like reading a history book or a science book or and all of that accessibility is there and for me that's just been so freeing it it gives me so much freedom and so much ability to be included in with my sighted friends and colleagues mm -hmm. who also love reading because so I many have that you to join any type of conversation where people are talking about a particular book let's say for example we are talking about egyptian uh, history and uh, so you you'll be at ease to to like be very very familiar with and speak about all the pyramids and everything about cheops and everything absolutely and i think my my only frustration is that i will never have enough time to read all the books that i want to read <laughs> but at okay. least i do have access to them through libraries Great. like credit to dr omiyor then dr omiyor the, the number of books is too much according to lois she, she will have no, no 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 <laughs> never too much never too never much too okay because it it gives us the choice Lo lois we're going to come back to you let's let's listen to rishi rishi welcome okay so you can tell us more about yourself first rishi then because uh, and, and then as from there you proceed please rishi we can't hear you rishi no we can't hear you Rishi you can can you start again because uh, your mic was off you okay now we can hear you no we can still not hear him because he's muted no no in now so no no rishi can you speak hello you can hear yeah, me yeah, now, yes. now, it's okay. now it's okay can you start please yes so hello to everyone oh it's been wonderful to hear your voices uh, even after like many months i heard uh, mr dr omiyar uh, i would uh, thank you uh, everybody to uh, to accept our invitation so in terms of uh, uh, bookshare i would first uh, you know i always as being an uh, uh, employee employability trainer at the grf i always give value to education and with with no education you won't go anywhere and uh, i would uh, uh, sorry sorry you, just to remind our viewers that rishi himself is an mba holder masters of business administration yeah rishi proceed yes so yeah i was going to say that uh, if you don't have education you won't go anywhere 
and uh, education mm -hmm. is uh, number one for any student you being uh, a disabled person or a non-disabled person whoever you are you need education to grow and uh, bookshare is giving the opportunity giving the platform for people who can't read the print disability people mm -hmm. to read to grow up to do something in society to to have a job you know and uh, yes. i would i would i always say thank you to uh, all the uh, you know facilities uh, that we have that we didn't have before 2000 right and uh, i have i became blind uh, at the age of 40 uh, due to uh, medical uh, stuff happened to me so after that when i came to this world of disability i found out how many different kinds of facilities we have that i can continue with my life mm. continue with my teaching you know and even uh, learning new stuff yeah even here what what whatever we are doing now it's it was not possible many years ago yeah. so i would yeah. i would say thank you i would say thank you to yeah, you are richie just right now using this platform you feel comfortable with everything so like, like uh, there's no like obstacle for you isn't it correct correct mm -hmm. so uh, as promised uh, let's go back to uh, our friend vj vj we promise a video at 11 isn't it yes. are you ready uh, yes i am ready uh, again vj dear viewers uh, <coughs> you are watching uh grf web tv program over and I translate open heart every Monday. We have this program, Accur Ouvert. So it's a special program every Monday, and uh, on uh, behalf of GRF Web TV. So we are going to watch this video. BJ, over to you. Yeah, thank you, Rama. So the video is uh, is about Bookshare, obviously, uh, which is titled Bookshare Removes Reading Barriers. So it's approximately two to three minutes uh, of video. So let me share it with everyone. Okay, thank you, Vijay. Mike, your phone, please. Mike. Bookshare, a Benetech initiative. A girl sits at a computer and puts on headphones. I want to say I first became aware of Bookshare around sixth or seventh grade. And I was like, wow, this is like the best thing ever. A student unzips a backpack to pull out a braille reader. I'm on there once a month downloading books. I can't live without my books. <laughs> a boy reads on an iPhone. When people ask me what's Bookshare like, I say it's like you doing something that you've never done before. Lights come on in a school gym. Students walk the hallways. Our students have such a wide range of disabilities that it takes a very large toolbox. So Bookshare offers for some kids that just need an enlarged print or a highlighted text or a student that needs audio with their text. You can switch the contrast, making the text bigger. You can change how the voice sounds. Page 26 of 2,617. And you can also change the speed that it reads. Pretty much anything that I want in Braille, I can look for it on Bookshare. I would say it's just like walking into the library. Well, for somebody who's, you know, kind of in my same boat, I would say, you know, you can do it and don't let anybody tell you that you can't. Students walk through a campus. 20 years ago, they didn't even know about dyslexia. It was more of people telling me, you're not gonna make it. And a lot of people like trying to push me down after they figured out that I was dyslexic. And then I got Bookshare. It kind of like broke open the barrier broadens my horizons. I feel like I can go places and do things within those books that I can't go and do in real life. You know, I remember having Bookshare on my iPad for the first time and realizing that I could sit on the couch and read a book on the couch because prior to that, it was under my, a physical book under my CCTV. I wouldn't have been able to make it this far without Bookshare. There are worlds open to you through Bookshare. Bookshare will definitely be a part of my life for the rest of my life. Bookshare, a Benetech initiative.
So there we are, Rama. Over to you. Thank you, thank you, Vijay. Thank you so much, Dr. Umir. How you feel when you listen to this wonderful video? Well, I represent the developing countries, and uh, in fact, there's a different way of looking at bookshare in the developing world. Yes. If you come from a developed country, you have access to technology, you have access to support services, you have access to institutions specially catering for you and helping you with your disability. But when you are in a developing country, situation is very different. You're a part yeah. of millions of people with disability trying to find your way in the society, trying to find your way through the education system, trying to find your way through the job market, if you ever finish your academics. So in all this respect, when technology empowers you, when technology gives you the option of working or reading at par with your non-disabled counterparts, when technology provides you with an opportunity to work at par with your non-disabled counterparts, yeah. It changes your life. It Definitely. Gives your life a new dimension. It empowers you. It creates an individual out of a person. It transforms him from being cared for into an individual who can now contribute to the society. It's a mm -hmm. game changer. Definitely. And at the same time, I, I guess that that person uh, will feel like there's, there's respect from others because Absolutely. he or she now okay, can be in and out. Yeah, Lois, I, I, I could see you nodding of the head uh, when Dr. Omiya was talking. Yeah, please, over to you. Yes, that I think there's many aspects of what Dr. Omiya says that I agree with so totally, particularly access to information for education in developing countries the the levels of poverty levels of of exclusion and marginalization mm. are so much greater and access to information through tools like bookshare can really be a complete game changer and open up so many more opportunities and that is crucial to any age group, but particularly to the youth in developing countries. Okay, do you have in mind a particular, some particular, let's talk about South Africa itself. You're from Cape Town, am I right? That's correct, yes. Okay. I, I've been to table, on Table Mountain, okay. You, huh. <laughs> okay, so let, let, let's talk about uh, South Africa itself. Huh? Well, not only Cape Town, but we can, we can refer to Joba, we can refer to Durban and other parts of South Africa. How is it there with uh, what Bookshare is, is, is sharing, is offering, are people really enjoying uh, this this opportunity? And if not, what are what are the obstacles? Let's let's share this platform to talk about it more. The the access we've had to Bookshare has been there are really two organisations, one through the um, South African Library for the Blind, who have always offered membership to Bookshare as part of their services. But more recently, one of our large advocacy groups, Blind SA, has partnered with Benetech to bring Bookshare to a wider population in South Africa. So it's quite a new initiative for people to access the books. There's been How a, new, Lois? How new? Since when it happened? In terms of the Blind SA partnership with Benetech that happened in October not last year but the previous year okay, so 2020. 2020 I think yes yeah, okay. and and that was really when I first had contact with Bookshare I knew about it I knew um, a lot more of the opportunities that were available through mm -hmm. Bookshare but I've really only been a Bookshare user since that time and and you personally, how you come to know about Bookshare, the existence of Bookshare? It's it's a conversation that I've I have a, a number of contacts and colleagues around the world 
who have been able to access Bookshare. And within the South African context, it's usually been, well, it would be wonderful if we could have access, but it was more difficult. The, the access through the South African Library for the Blind, if I'm correct, is a, was a paid membership, where through the partnership with Blind SA, that is, it's part of the services that they offer. That was going to be one of my question, and if you allow me, we'll put that question to Zainab, maybe. She'll be the one, maybe, uh, to... As you can see, I'm just trying to rotate so that each and each one can participate in the conversation. Yes, Zainab. So, uh, hey, let me put a very interesting question, more, more like a query. So, can you, can you, can you clarify, please? Yes, Rama. So, um... Actually, uh, with uh, Blind uh, South Africa, it was paid, but uh, since 2020, October, as Louis said, it is a partnership between Benetech and uh, Blind SA. So the membership is free for people of South Africa till December 31, 2031. It's only because you have this partnership. Otherwise, it yes. would have been. Yes. Okay? And, and if can we, can, uh, can we extend that to other countries also? Or is it solely for South Africa, this free access? As of now, it is just a partnership with the Blind SA. So it's done with them. So it could be done. I mean, if they contact the head office, Sapa Etra Avek OOC. Pukwapa. exactly. So as Dr. Omiyar mentioned uh, during his intervention of the, vid the video, he highlighted that aspect of developing countries. Would you agree with me, Dr. Omiyar, that when we're talking about developing countries, we are talking about countries facing lots of issues, and especially financial monetary issues. Now, how do you cater for these developing countries having people uh, with uh, visual impairment and everything, and at the same time, benefiting from the wonderful uh, platform of Bookshare. Let me add to what Zainab said, and then I'll answer your question. Yes, Bookshare please. membership is completely free for all developing countries around the world. All developing countries, I repeat. Yeah. And the developing countries is determined by the World Bank status. So if your country mm. is designated <coughs> as a developing country or yes. an underdeveloped country by World Bank, our mm. services are absolutely free for your country for all print disabled. Remember this, the services of Bookshare are limited only to people with print disability. If you are not a print disabled, you cannot become a member of Bookshare. Mm -hmm. Coming to your question, how has it impacted the developing countries? And I'll give you a couple of examples of developing yes, countries. Yes, please. I'll give you an example of India. Mm -hmm. India has a very large proliferation of Android devices. Most mm -hmm. of the visually impaired who are in their high school or colleges have access to an Android device. And your Android device becomes one of the most powerful, affordable, assistive devices that one can own. It's a tool which they use every day. It's a tool which can support your reading, writing, navigation, communication, social interaction. Your Android device becomes everything to you. Mm -hmm. So what we have done in India is promoted the use of an Android phone yes. and we encourage people to connect it with an external keyboard for it yeah. to be transformed into a mini laptop because touch mm. typing on an android is a little difficult but the moment you connect it with an external keyboard it could be a wired keyboard a usb keyboard or a bluetooth keyboard you mm. immediately transform the potential of your android device into a reading writing navigation whatever you want to do you should be able to do using your android device because laptops yeah. are expensive. In a cost of a one standard laptop, you can buy about four Android devices. So that mm -hmm. is why I said affordable and accessible. 
Now, the device is there, but you need to have content on it to read. So that is where Bookshare comes in. So by providing free services of Bookshare to India, we have now able to connect the students, especially the students in schools, at college levels, at university levels, at PhD levels, to access our content, use this content for their academic growth. Once this has started, and you know India is a very large country with a very diverse population with more than 29 official languages, we started creating vernacular content for those people who are not basically English speakers. So this then yeah. gave an opportunity for vernacular speakers to read content in their language. The only catch here is the vernacular language has to be supported by a text-to-speech engine. Because when a yeah. blind person uses an Android device, the content can be seen on the device. But to hear that device, you need a text-to-speech engine. Fortunately, Google has come out with a lot of Indian-based languages with high-quality voices. And even if you don't have it on Google, there's another voice called eSpeak, which provides more access to more than 65 languages across the globe. Africans are the part of Sorry to ask at this stage, can it be even be a dialect also? Yes, Africans is there, Zulu is there, uh, Swahili is there, uh, Amharic is there, Arabic is there. So all these languages spoken widely across the African continent are supported now on the Android device. So mm -hmm. if you have the content and if you have the text-to-speech voice installed on your Android device, you are ready to use it as a reading writing tool. Now see Definitely. the significance of this intervention. The moment you include digital reading and writing in a school environment, mm -hmm. you are empowering the students to learn at par with your non-disabled students. Okay. I'll expand this. Take an example of an inclusive school where the yeah. teachers do not know Braille. Mm -hmm. When the student, a blind student, goes to, into this environment where the teacher teaching a mainstream class, there are 40, 50 students in a classroom, one blind student sitting in one corner. If this child is only dependent on Braille and the teacher is not reading Braille, the mm -hmm. child is excluded even in spite of being in an inclusive school. Mm -hmm. And despite of all his effort, his inner effort, that child will still feel like being excluded. Absolutely. Because the teacher is not able to read what the child is able to read. Mm -hmm. Right. But now when you include an Android device into the mainstream school, yeah. the teacher is able to see what is there on the screen. The child is able to hear what is there on the screen. The child is now able to type in mainstream script so the teacher is able to see what the child is typing. So you're bringing down the barrier you're opening up the entire education system and making it inclusive for the blind child to be included in a mainstream education system. Excellent, excellent. Combine yeah, uh, this with what Zainab explained at the beginning, Bookshare content has got images. Now, mm -hmm. traditionally blind do not have access to images if you're reading only Braille. But when mm -hmm. you're reading digital text from Bookshare, we retain all the images and provide description to the images. Coming back to your question about Tintin. Yeah, Tintin, yeah, coming back got, to Tintin. Yeah, Bookshare has got access to more than 90,000 children's books. And all children's books will have plenty of images. Now, these images, when they are described, when a description is given to the image, even if it's a comic strip like Tintin and there's a dialogue, the bubble is explained in text like Tintin says this and Asterix says that or Harry Potter says that. So everything is explained. Harry Potter is wearing a purple hat with a magic wand in his hand or whatever it could be. When the yeah, images yeah, are described, yeah. a person like Louis or a person like me or a person like Rishi who has lost vision will be able to understand what is there in the image 
I was going to come back to you personally to ask you that personal question. We're going to come back at a later stage because I, I, I'm quite, uh, 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 well, no, I want to know how it happened to you also uh, because now that you are sharing book share with others, because we've uh, uh, been sharing the, the story of Rishi, Lois, uh, and uh, why not you also uh, tell our viewers more about yourself sure. in a few minutes. Sure. Yeah, yeah we'll come back to you. Yeah, I, I, me too, me too. I'm, I'm quite sure. curious. Okay, let's let's go back to Rishi. Rishi, now yes, that you are, you, are you enjoying all these facilities, you personally? Because, for example, we used to communicate very often using mail and everything. Can And now that we've heard that, for example, how we can couple technology with books and everything, how you feel about it? Believe me, Rama, when I lost my vision at the age of 40, I thought I would I will not be able to do anything now. I was okay. demotivated to the power of infinity until I met uh, uh, Dr. Bosraman. You know, he introduced me Bookshare through the help of Dr. Omeo mm. and all the other facilities that I uh, read, I got to know at GRF. Mm. Believe me, you can do, you can change the world. You meaning, are, meaning that uh, uh, someone yes. who is deep, you, you mean you, you get you got depressed when it happened to you when you lost uh, your your oh eyesight, my, isn't it? Yes, yes. Not only depressed, I, like uh, it's it's a it's a uh, demotivation. Like I told you, to the power of infinity. I was demotivated. I I couldn't do anything. I was not coming out of my room. Mm. Yeah, I, I I would not hesitate to tell you when I see people, I was hiding myself behind the curtains. Like I, yeah, I felt like I felt like I'm useless, you know. Despite but, uh, all the, your knowledge, all that you have acquired, but the fact that you lost vision, you 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 were hiding yourself because you were what afraid of of the uh, of the opinion of others. What 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 really the the, the 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 reason the idea behind that? Why? Yeah, yeah, anxiety was coming up, uh, afraid of people judgment, you know. Uh, mm. People, uh, you know, all all kind of things when people tell you, and uh, it's like uh, I I would say it's overthinking of what will happen next. Will people mm. leave me in the uh, within the four walls? What will I do in my life? Uh, why should I? Uh, I I I did my MBA. I, you already know about it, and I wanted yeah, I to do things in my life. I was a mm. teacher for ten years, and after that, I went to Canada. I was working mm -hmm. in Canada in a in a corporate office for ten years as a sales manager. Mm -hmm. Like everything was in my hand, you know. And as soon as when I got that uh, uh, vision problem, it was mm -hmm. uh, it was all after a vaccination that I did. Eh? Uh, maybe oh. uh, not everybody knows about it. So it was all about uh, after vaccination. And mm -hmm. after vaccination, I got my optic. It was not COVID nineteen. It was not COVID nineteen. Pardon me? It was not COVID-19 vaccine. No, no. It was uh, two years back. Before COVID-19, it was uh, hepatitis vaccine. Mm. Maybe. Yes. Okay. So that, uh, that uh, vaccination happened. And the weird yeah. thing is the doctors say they cannot prove that the vaccination did that. Mm. So whatever is happening right now with COVID, with the, with the vaccination of COVID, with the side effects people are having, I already experienced it two years back. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I was just thinking, see what happened to me. Now the whole world is talking about it. The whole world is uh, questioning the vaccination. Mm -hmm. so that's okay. This is another about. debate which we can uh, extrapolate. Uh, Lois, when, when you hear the uh, Rishi uh, relating his own story, which happened to him at the age of 40, and you mentioned yourself, can you elaborate a little bit more about your own experience, personally, when you lost the vision? I think my story was both similar and different from those that I've heard from other people. Yeah. I can completely relate to Rishi's comment of, of feeling that anxiety, feeling disillusioned or the, 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 and lack of inspiration because I think often people don't understand 
that moving from a world of sight to the world of blindness, mm -hmm. you have to learn new ways of doing absolutely everything. And mm -hmm. you have to start all over again. And until like, you like gain... Like you start from scratch. I, I, you know, you have to learn new ways of selecting your clothing, um, reading, writing, and everything, moving around. You even have to work out a different way of putting toothpaste on a toothbrush. It is it affects every part of your lifestyle. Mm. And I think that is often one of the the hardest things for people to to manage with you would the diagnosis. Say challenge? So, I beg your pardon? You would say hardest challenge. I think initially it's the sense of being completely overwhelmed and not knowing where to start mm -hmm. learning to cope with the diagnosis of blindness, as mm -hmm. well as the social side of not knowing how your families, your friends, your contacts, your colleagues at work, uh, your, your fellow students at school or at college, how they will react and receive you. Mm -hmm. the, the difference, I think, in my situation is that my way of I've always been someone who loves solving problems mm -hmm. doing puzzles and things like that yeah and that was really an asset to me when I became blind because it became a series of challenges of how am I going to solve this yeah. how am I going to do that so I think that really helped me and I think in many ways that ability, that skill, that, that tendency in myself made my transition a lot easier than it is for most people. Mm -hmm. So I, I think, you know, I, I really can I, can, I can understand and relate to what Rishi shared there. And it is hard to, to experience that change as at, at a later stage in life, once you've learned all these different ways of doing things, to now have to learn new ways. And I think that's also one of the reasons why I do love finding out and embracing new technologies, new ways of doing things, because it opens up more opportunities every day. And I'm still learning. I'm yeah, still I was, I was going to come to that aspect. Are you both, I'm, I'm putting the question to both of you, Rishi and Lois, now with, with uh, the collaboration of Bookshare, with what Bookshare is offering, are you still learning? Absolutely, every day. Yeah, tell us more about that. I think I'm curious by nature. So I love learning new information. So I, I do, I seek out information, but particularly information that will help me achieve a task or a goal that is important to me okay let me put the, the question differently to both of you how are you aware of what bookshare is offering search functionality <laughs> i can search for pretty much anything on bookshare or i can google information and when i find that there are books that contain that information i can then look for those books on Bookshare. Okay, uh, then now, are you are you in a, in a position to to tell us uh, to tell our viewers, our listeners, that uh, are you on the upfront of telling people, you, uh, normal, normal users of Bookshare, what's coming after what you have in the pipeline? Do you have this communication with your readers or people with whom you communicate? Uh Yes, uh, actually, if I don't need to tell them because if in the bookshelf, curious, uh, curious enough to know <laughs> exactly, and plus, if there is an option called um, latest books, so yeah. because every day we um, every month we pump in 10,000 new books, so if in the link they'll go to the latest book collection. They'll see all the latest books. Every day they'll see new latest books. Uh, 
ils ont... Ils sont déjà très oui. curieux de savoir. Alors, Zainab, ouais, la, la, ouais, la, ouais. La, alors, combien de livres est-ce que Bookshare publie chaque mois, nouveaux livres Environ. Euh, pas, pas nécessairement 10 000. 10 000. Can you translate chaque for mois, our You translate yes. yourself. Ah, oui. Chaque mois, il y en a 10 000 nouveaux livres sur Bookshare. Et vous pouvez les chercher, euh, vous pouvez y aller euh, dans le link qui s'appelle « Latest Books ». Et vous verrez qu'il y en a 10 000, books, euh, 10 000 livres chaque mois. Ok. Zainab is combining English and French. Donc, 10 000 books. <laughs> ok. Zainab is trying to mix a bit English and French. Zainab just mentioned that each and every single month there is an average of 10,000 books being on the, uh, on launched by the bookshelf. So, Dr. Homier, how you come to to reach this figure, and uh, are you going to to increase the number? Because now you've mentioned that you are moving towards uh, different uh, languages, dialects, and everything. Is the number increasing? The number has to increase, Rama, because yeah. if we see today, the figures say that less than one percent, less than one percent of the total published printed material in the world is actually available in accessible formats. So there is only, 90, only less than 1%. If you go to developed countries, it is about 5%. In okay. developing countries, it is less than 1%. So now you can imagine... Sorry, sorry, sorry. What are the major mistakes? Why, why is it only eight? That is such a lot. I'll explain. Please. The most common challenges seen are publishing methods. In developing countries, people still use ancient publishing methodology. For example, if you are publishing in one of the Indian vernacular languages, people still do not use Unicode fonts. Fonts are the main script. And if non-Unicode fonts are used, these cannot be read by the assistive technology. For example, sometimes you open, as a sighted person, you open a PDF sent by somebody and you will only see garbage on the screen, all junk characters on the screen. That means your device is not recognizing I think we are getting some background noise from somewhere. Can yeah, it was, it was from can, can, those not using their. Can you please just switch off your mic? Thank you. Yes, doctor. Thank you. So, uh, Zainab, can you type maybe? I think uh, yeah, it's microphone okay. which is giving us. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. if you're yeah. not using Unicode fonts for publication, then you're not creating content which can be read by an assistive technology device. Mm -hmm. Similarly, when we talk about print publishing, not all printed materials are put online. So there could mm -hmm. be millions of books which are just printed as hard copies with no digital copies of these books, mm -hmm. especially in developing countries. The third problem is lack of text-to-speech engines for certain languages. If you go to dialects or if you go to certain, even Malawi doesn't have a text-to-speech engine for the language that they speak in your part of the world. Yeah. Africa, uh, South Africa has got, I think, 11 languages, correct me if I'm wrong, Louis, out of which only Afrikaans and Zulu has a text-to-speech engine. So there's so many languages which do not have a text-to-speech engine. So when you mm -hmm. do not have a text-to-speech engine, even if you have a digital copy, you cannot read the copy using assistive technology. So there are various challenges when it comes to accessible publishing. And that is why Bookshare has come out with a program called Born Accessible. Born Accessible means- Can you repeat, can you repeat the term, please? Born Accessible, B-O-R-N, Born Accessible. Yeah. Born okay. Accessible yeah. means yeah. any title which is published digitally by any publisher mm -hmm. should be created in such a way that it can be read by 
you as a sighted person and me as a person with print disability at the same time. You should not be reproducing it. You should not be reconverting that copy into an accessible copy. It should be accessible from the publisher's desk. And that is called born accessible. So this program is basically meant for publishers. And Benedict has a worldwide initiative where we work with many, many, many publishers across the globe. We work with their production houses. We work with their content creators and help them use the right tools and the right workflow to create accessible content. This will take time because there are millions of publishers across the globe. We cannot reach everyone. But slowly, we are transforming this. We are pushing this technology or this new workflow into various fields. We are putting it out to various forums. Slowly, the world is changing. But it's going to take a long time. Okay. I'm very excited to put the next question. But we promise a video at 11.30, another one, regarding Bookshare. Uh, Vijay, are you ready for that? Yes, I am ready, Rama. Um, this is, uh, again, a short video of uh, approximately four minutes. And uh, this is about the visit of Dr. Omiya the last time he was around here in Mauritius. So I'll share that in one second. Thank there you. We <clears throat> there we go. Vacation landmark list with one item, collapsed link login. Out of list search landmark clickable search keywords. Email or username star edit with my bookshare barbarous. Bookshare basically is the same problem as we see in Mauritius. We have in India, where lack of tax textbooks is the major concern. So Bookshare as an international entity came into India in uh, late 2008. And slowly we have been growing in memberships. We have more than 7,000 members in India right now. And most of them are students in schools and colleges. And most of the textbooks of different boards are being put up on Bookshare for these students to access. Plus there's a lot of reading material on Bookshare as I had demonstrated. So there are about 400,000 books for these children to read. Plus it's also there for persons with uh, who are elderly who need to read and they cannot read a standard printed book so they can also become members of Bookshare and they can access these books they are magazines they are newspapers they are art, uh, leisure books books for romance uh, science literature friction religion everything is there so people can show you choose and read Bookshare has signed to more than 800 publishers all across the world and we are growing in that so publishers directly give us their content. Publishers give us the content in accessible format, which is directly uploaded on Bookshare. Books, um, to name a few, we have got HarperCollins, Penguin, Random House. All these major publishers are direct contributors to Bookshare. You might be thinking about why Bookshare and why today when we are talking about employment for persons with disability. Employment comes with knowledge. Knowledge comes with reading. Unfortunately, for persons with blindness, reading does not exist because of the lack of accessibility. What Bookshare did was it made the print books, made, converted them into accessible formats like e-text, PDF, HTML, and later on, we came up with a format called DAISY, which stands for Digitally Accessible Information System. So if the books are created in these formats, any person with sight or without sight will be able to access the same book and be able to read the same book. This Braille is an accessible format. If there is something written in Braille, persons with blindness, if they have learned Braille, can read. To read any books from Bookshare, you need certain applications and all these applications generally are free applications you can read them on your laptop on your windows platforms or you can read them on your android devices or you can read them on your iphones i can read by spelling by word by paragraph by line or if i want to copy certain text 
and paste it into a document and create my own assignment, I can even do that. Support for the teachers also who are helping the blind. They can use these books and they can create notes and assignments for their blind students. We would like to get in Mauritian content onto this platform. There you are. There you are, Rama. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Good thank you. you. Yeah, so uh, I'm quite excited to put the next question. Okay. Uh, last year, we launched a book at GRF, iRise 2021, and the previous year we had iRise 2020. No this book, we have been uh, relating the stories, wonderful stories, live stories of people who are living with, with disabilities. And in this particular book, iRise 2021, my, me, myself, I'm the editor of the book, and uh, we've been talking about sharing with our re uh, readers the stories of people uh, living with disabilities. And we are also right now on the preparation for the next uh, edition where we're going to, 2022 edition, where we're going to talk about uh, 22 people with, uh, with uh, disabilities are going to relate their own stories. What about this book? How to make this book reach Bookshare, Dr. Omja? Fortunately, uh, I raised 20, 20 is live on Bookshare and uh, we can immediately make 21 available to all your readers from Bookshare. What we need is just the word copy of the book, send it yes. to us and within three working days it will be live on Bookshare and we'll share um, the link with GRF and it can be then sent to any printer disabled if he's a member of Bookshare, he should be able to download it and read it. Thank I you, Dr. Omiya, Rama. I just want to add, I hope Dr. Omiya will refresh his memory of his visit to Mauritius with this it very, was. <laughs> yes. very clear And I was hearing those numbers and I'm so happy to say 400,000 has become a million plus books now. Excellent. Yeah. We said 800 publishers, which is more than 950 publishers today. So Wonderful. there's a huge progress from the last time that I had visited Mauritius. And these are yes. old memories, Dr. Parsuraman. Thank you. And now you have to come back. Absolutely. We, we are going, we're getting, we're getting ready for it. Eh? It's yeah, high absolutely. time that we come back. Yes. Yeah. And, and bring Zainab with you because she will be, she will be jealous otherwise. Absolutely. <laughs> Lois, um, the invitation uh, is extended to you also. Yeah, let me, Rama, also yeah. thank Dr. Mia who uploaded Bookshare, uh, no, IRI's 2020, and we will be sending you the French version of IRI's 2020 uh, and also the uh, one, uh, 2021, IRI's 2021 English version so far. So if you can kindly upload them. And I'm pleased to say that I, I mentioned it to Lois that our book I Rise is on Bookshare and she found it. Am I right, Lois? Indeed. It is waiting for me to start reading it on my iPhone as we and speak. I, and I have a surprise for you. I have a surprise for you, Lois. I will ask Rama with the chief editor of I Rise uh, to include you as uh, in our I Rise 2022. It would be an honor to be included in that. Thank you. Okay. Thank Rama you. has taken good note. And, and yeah, Puja is definitely. in my office, Rama. So I, I could know. smell where, where you were coming to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. But this time, Rama, I just to mark this occasion of today, I would like uh, Dr. Omiya. Dr. Pastor Raman, come closer to your mic, please. Yes, yeah. I would like, uh, what I would like to propose also to Dr. Omiya. So, for the for a 2022 edition of I Rise, I would like him to give us a message. Sure. Which will go into the book. Okay. Pleasure is mine. And it will be an honor, as we say. And also with a few, uh, you know, we'll prepare something which will bring him also there with a message, but also with some stories. Thank you. Sure. Yeah, thank coming you back. To, yeah, thank you. Uh, coming back to the. Uh, French version, even of uh, 2021, it's 80% ready because we have already translated. Because you need the soft copy, isn't it, Dr. Omiyar? Yes, 
on this Microsoft topic. Copy. So copy the in Microsoft Word. Yeah, so yeah, in Microsoft Word. So it's all 80% plus it's ready. So we have just to complete the rest. And even the French version of iRise 2021 will be available soon. Okay. Thank you. So meaning that uh, uh, we'll have the English version and French version at the same time for 2021. And also we are going to collaborate closer for because maybe for the next edition, we can launch it simultaneously simultaneously the the hard copy and uh bookshare rama I think we've we've lost him uh, in the middle. We seem to have lost Rama, it seems. Yeah. I'll 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 try to get in touch with him again. Just hold on a second. Thank you, Dr. Paul Suraman, for sending the word version of 21. It's already here in my inbox. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, Rama. Yeah, sorry, there was a, a little yes. network issue. It happened. Okay, yeah, Dr. Omriyal, sorry for that. Uh, I was going, I was going to put you a question. All about yourself regarding uh, your impairment. Well, fortunately, my journey has been not a very sudden journey or sudden transformation of my life as might have happened for Rishi or Louis. Because I suffer from a condition called retinitis pigmentosa, which is one of the very common genetic conditions which leads to blindness. Mm -hmm. It's a genetic condition. It's a congenital condition. So it's hereditary. Uh, it can be passed on through generations, through your genome sequence. Mm -hmm. So I was a person with partial vision in my very early days at school, at college but then lost vision over a period of time. So fortunately, like Louis, like Rishi, I had the benefit of seeing both the worlds. Okay. But it was not a sudden transformation. The loss of vision was gradual over a period of time. So it gave me a lot of opportunity to adjust at each and every stage of my life. So that's the only oh. advantage, I would say, compared to Rishi's story or Louis's experience. Why I put that question because I wanted to know whether your collaboration, your 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 love story with Bookshare is a happened after you had those problems or was it before? So the story began way back in two thousand five, mm -hmm. and I let me tell you a little bit more about myself and my background. I am a physiotherapist by qualification. Yeah. And uh, I started my practice way back in 1986. Mm -hmm. So I had partial vision and then had the fortune of working on various projects as a physiotherapist. Mm -hmm. So I had the good fortune of starting the Physiotherapy College for the Blind in 2005 in India. Mm -hmm. So this was at that time a very revolutionary college where we introduced technology for reading and writing in 2005. We didn't have access to Bookshare in 2005 in India. So we had to convert all the textbooks we used by our students into accessible formats. We had to do a lot of recording in those days. We had to do a lot of conversion of PDF text into accessible word formats in those mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. So working with this technology, the rudimentary 
technology which existed in those days. We made our college a complete paperless college, a complete braille-less college for our blind students. Mm. With that experience in mind, when Bookshare arrived in India in 2008, I was one of the very new sort of followers of Bookshare. I became a volunteer for them, spreading the knowledge about Bookshare and accessible content through all our channels at that time. Not knowing that I would be a part of Bookshare in 2015. Wow. That's when I joined Bookshare as India head. And in 2000, late 16, I was given the option for heading Asia and Africa for Benetech. So my journey with Bookshare started as a volunteer, started as a reader, started as a person who wanted to promote accessible reading especially for academics, especially for students who wanted to read, who were not given the opportunity to read because of lack of content, as has been described and uh, discussed in detail. So that mm -hmm. was the initial steps when I started with Bookshare. Okay, Again, like you. being an addict reader, when I could read the print, I would read a novel in one night. I would have a special little lamp fitted on my bed and with my reading glasses, I would just poke my nose into the printed book and try and finish it in one go. I was mm -hmm. that sort of a reader. But between 2000, uh, sorry, 1995 and 2000, when technology first arrived in India, those were the dark days because I had lost my reading ability in 1995. Until 2000, I had to depend on somebody to read for me. Even in mm. my clinical practice, I had to depend on people reading out case papers and everything to me. So those were the dark days. Mm. But come 2000, come technology to India. I started using computers in 2000 with the help of JAWS. That's a screen reader. I was mm. uh, a early user of JAWS, it was version 2, I think 3.5, today it is JAWS 2022. Uh -huh. So once I had my hands on a screen reader, that changed everything for me. That gave me the confidence to read again, Excellent. Excellent. to read what I wanted whenever I wanted. And that is what I have been promoting, advocating through all these last 22 years, pushing people making them read again, making them empowered again yeah. to be a part of the general society. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Professor, Professor Raman just, just mentioned that uh, the, the, the debate seems so passionate that despite we are supposed to end at, uh, at 12, we can extend by some 10 minutes. Would you feel comfortable, each one of you? Because it, uh, that debate looks so passionate. Are you okay with that, everyone? Absolutely happy. Please well, go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, yeah, please proceed. So, meaning that you feel like uh, you're not just uh, telling others. You you walk the talk. Is it the correct term? Absolutely. Absolutely. Excellent. 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 Now, as we have mentioned, we initially we were left with 10 minutes. Now we've been extended, granted some 10 additional minutes. So let's make maximum use of that. Zainab, coming back to you. Zainab, I'm going to express my thoughts. Yeah. Oui, ça va. Pas de problème. Oui, oui. oui allez-y. Alors, oui. uh, vous, vous personnellement, allez, allons, allons parler un peu plus de Jaina parce que Jaina va être uh, accueillie à Maurice très bientôt, si, si j'ai bien compris, quand le professeur passe sur Amen. Ok, I was oui. just mentioning that I'm asking Jaina to tell us more about her, herself because uh, she will be our next guest here in Maurice together with Dr. Omiyar. Yes, please. En français, si vous voulez. Allez. Oui. Uh, ok. Euh, donc, alors, quand je, je suis née, euh, j'ai perdu mes, euh, mes yeux et je ne pouvais pas... Je suis malvoyante, ok? Et euh, je suis allée à l'école euh, avec euh, 
me pa do ekol special že te ani tu do oe 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 je te la e mo fror il se tout le temps de homo et tout ça et un jour j'ai j'étais très fâchée et je voulais lire aussi et je ne savais pas comment j'ai pris des livres j'ai pris tout à fait dans mes yeux on peut dire mais je ne pouvais lire rien et j'étais très fâchée et so, uh, let, 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 let me just stop you here, just to translate. Would you like to translate yourself? Yeah, I will. No problem. Please. So, I was born blind, but I mean, I was born sighted, but due to neonatal jaundice and some complication, I lost my sight. And But uh, I went to an inclusive school and I would see my brother, my cousins, and all my friends read a lot. So I was really upset about it, but why can't I read? So I used to take the books really close to my eyes, try to read, but in vain. It used to give me so, I mean, I used to get so angry. But then I said, it's okay. Then I actually went, did my graduation in economics, but I always had a love for French. So I did my master's in French. Uh, I did my master's diploma in uh, Les Etudes de Pédagogie in uh, French and uh, through, uh, the, through Paris, through Alliance. And then I started teaching French after I finished school. So on, on peut dire que je parle le français bien plus bien que ma langue maternelle, il y a des mots que je sais en français, mais je ne savais pas ces mots en anglais ou en la, dans ma langue maternelle. C'est quoi votre langue maternelle? What is your mother language? Uh, ma langue maternelle, c'est Gujarati, si vous savez. Oui, oui, bien sûr. Gujarati, oui, bien sûr. Oh, oui, c'est ça. Et euh, en moi, je, euh, à ce moment, je parle sept langues L'année d'avance, c'est ici à Baroda, à Baroda, Badodara. Oui, mais, mais non, non, mais euh, j'habite à Pune, qui est près de Mumbai. OK. Et ça, c'est à Maharashtra. Et okay. ici, on parle Marathi. OK. Et so, Zana, euh... is... well, she, she, she's so keen. <laughs> She's in French, as Lois could smell, that because she, she has a, this platform, Zainab has this platform, Lois, to, to express herself in French. So she's so eager to speak in French. And, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, Zainab. Wonderful, wonderful. Is she coming back to you? Uh, I guess you've got, you've got a few questions to our friends here. Would you? Please. You were talking to me, right? Yeah, yes, Rishi. I, I was telling you, yes. uh, I'm sure you've got a few questions because we're going to wrap up in a few minutes of, uh, for, for our guests and also to share with our viewers regarding Bookshare. Anything okay, that you'd yes, like so to ahead. ask? Please. Uh, yes, uh, you know what? In the recent uh, uh, reports from Dr. Omiyar, uh, he was talking about... Uh, a little bit uh, louder, please. A little bit louder, please. Loud. <clears throat> okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, better. Yeah, please. Yes, on the on the reset report uh, from Dr. Omiyar, he was talking about a series that uh, been added in uh, Bookshare. I think it's uh, PR Plus. Uh, I would love to know more about this because it uh, it was really interesting when I read that from Dr. Omiyar. Yeah, Dr. Omiyar, have you listened to the question? Absolutely, absolutely. So, please. Rishi, this book is about disability and sexuality about one's own identity because generally when people talk about visually impaired they're never allowed to express themselves they're always considered as inhuman sort of objects rather than individuals with a personality 
So this series of six books talks about various aspects of sexuality, encouraging people with visual impairment to express themselves in the society and giving a lot of tips about how to do that. So very informative series of booklets, which uh, I found that it should be read by many people, especially people who have been born blind and especially those who have been educated in segregated environments like a blind school, extremely important for them. Also important for the sighted population, for them to understand that persons with visual impairment, visual impairment are just normal individuals with normal feelings, with normal desires. There's nothing unusual about it. Just because you're blind, it doesn't mean that you cannot have a normal life. Mm -hmm. So these books express and give in detail a lot of these myths. They talk about all these myths and give detailed explanation about what to do and what, what not to do. So it's an interesting series of books. And I would suggest that you should search for these books. I have also given the search term. You can just uh, write PR plus and you should be able to find these books and read them. Vijay, thank you, uh, thank sorry, you, uh, your question has been answered. Yes, yes, of course. I have a second question. Uh, yes, please. Mauritius, when I... When the question I is, to is addressed to whom, hey, Richie? The question is addressed to whom? Uh, to uh, whoever wants to answer. <laughs> okay, anyone would like to answer. Yeah, to, it's an open, open question, actually. Uh, yes, so I was going to say, in Mauritius, when I go to people and uh, explain them uh, about bush here, uh, they are much more prone to go towards, uh, you know, uh, towards Netflix and videos with audio description. Nowadays, we have almost all the movies, all the uh, uh, the movies in, uh, in Netflix with audio description, and people with uh, uh, with uh, with the print disabilities, I think they are much more uh, in their comfort level and uh, watching movies. They they like watching movies than reading. Exactly, exactly. Uh, it's very I common. I have it's that uh, problem. But how do you think uh, Bookshare? Bookshare is working on on that. Is it a threat for Bookshare? Let me ask this question, Rishi. Yes, Rishi, uh, uh, Dr. Umiyar is going to answer the question. So the question is about, uh, is uh, uh, Netflix and other platforms, not necessarily so Netflix only, maybe changing. maybe uh, Disney, Disney yeah. Plus also, are, are these uh, platforms are like threats to Bookshare? And is Bookshare going to uh, upgrade in this direction? So the answer is, it's change of culture. It's not only for the blind that they want to listen to videos with audio description, but even for people with sight, if you see young children, they would prefer a YouTube video compared to reading a textbook. They would mm -hmm. have somebody explain to them on a video regarding a concept rather than reading it through a textbook because audio visual is a very strong connect. Similarly, when you talk about audio description, it's a very strong connect because you're connected to that story. Mm -hmm. But then remember that Netflix is an entertainment channel and the content which you see on Netflix is mostly leisure. When it comes to education, when it comes to knowledge, when it comes to acquiring skills, probably you will not find the same content on Netflix. You'll have to go back to standard textbooks for reading and getting concept building. So that is where Bookshare comes into play. Secondly, there are so many readers, especially like Lewis, like me, who want to read novels, who want to get into that feel of somebody narrating a novel to you. And all novels cannot be transformed into movies so that you can enjoy a Netflix audio described production. So there are millions and millions of books which are there, which you want to read, you want to read about a different genre, which probably is just not there on Netflix. So Bookshare is not going to go extinct. It's just adding to a choice and choice is a fundamental right. As an individual, it's your 
choice how you want to gain that knowledge through netflix through youtube through bookshare or through any other medium some people like to put their hands on the book and for braille users there is a refreshable braille display where you can read with your fingers so we are providing you options which option you want to take is your choice okay Does lois what's your opinion about that please lois what's your opinion about what just uh, dr umiyar just mentioned would you would you agree that a book remains a book to me yes and i think the other for, for me the the other benefit of having something in a in a a text format mm -hmm. is that it makes it searchable where if i'm looking for information on youtube or on in any of the 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 visual the video format disney plus whatever be yeah. i i can't search that mm -hmm. If I'm looking for specific information, I like the functionality of saying, I want to find out more about this particular item and mm. being able to search a document to find the precise information I need. Certainly for leisure, I, I am not, I never have been much of a film or movie watcher. I'm far happier picking up a book. And I think I always will be. But I do appreciate the the value that audio description <clears throat> has given mm -hmm. to making films accessible in the same way as books definitely. are now accessible. Definitely. So yeah, definitely there, 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 there would yeah. always be people who would be eager to, to watch uh, or listen to a movie, as we have just mentioned, but others are very more keen, like, for example, to, to be at night with their books. And as we have watched in that video, it was already mentioned that lady, she was uh, uh, sitting on the couch and uh, taking her book with her, uh, thanks to Bookshare. You see, this is something which is quite different from like watching something. This is what is being mentioned in that video. Yes. And okay. I, I, I just love the, the format of books in mm -hmm. terms of the words, as, as I suppose, as an author myself, I know how much time and effort is put into crafting a story. Crafting uh, Lord, a story. I, I, I didn't pick up that part <laughs> very much. Now it's almost at the end of this marvelous uh, uh, meeting together that now you're mentioning as an author yourself. Come on, reveal the, the secrets. <clears throat> That would take far more than just a few minutes, but let, let me <laughs> suffice it to say that I have published six books, one of which is already available on Bookshare. And okay. I'm very excited that my book, A Different Way of Seeing. What's the title of the book? What's it all about? I have four illustrated children's books about the tools and techniques that we or I as a visually impaired person use mm -hmm. a different way. Those are called the adventures of Missy Mouse. Those sadly are not yet on Bookshare, but I do think I should investigate that. Come on. Then I have a, a memoir of my own story of the, the, the way I live my life, which is okay. called a different way of seeing. A blind woman's mm. journey of living an ordinary life in an extraordinary you mean the, way. Some sort of guidelines, guidance to people with uh, disability, with impairment, visual impairment. It's not a self-help book. It is more stories of some of the things that I've done since losing my sight, and some of the tools and techniques that I use. Okay. So it's it's more. It's, it's a little bit of self-help, a little bit of a how to do it and uh, stories and yeah. a, a narrative. So hopefully it will provide like a, like a bibliography. In a sense, yes, it is. It, I consider it a narrative memoir. OK. Yes. And then the final book, which I released only towards the end of last year, okay. is called Pause for Thought seeing the world through the eyes of a guide dog and that is a the story of my own guide dog fiji who's working with me now so so it's it's mentioned at the very beginning during the introduction i guess yes okay rama if i may interject here louis this is the great opportunity if you wish as an author 
you can contribute these books to Bookshare. And, I would be very uh, happy to do so. Please get in touch with me directly. Rama, if you could be kind enough to share my email with Louis, yeah, I'll be definitely. more than happy to definitely have my books live on Bookshare as soon as possible. I would be that would be wonderful. Thank you so much. I would definitely you, you, take you uh, up on that. Yeah, this, this platform is already creating miracles this morning, this GRF Web TV. There's so many things happening. Dr. 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 Raman, you're still there. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, please. So have, you, have you reached the end of, it, of the of the we are, we are almost reaching the end. Yeah, we are almost okay, reaching thank you, the end. Thank you, Rama. Thank you, Rama. Let, thank you, Rama, for, our let, you, let me thank you, Rama, for an ex, a very a wonderful and exciting interaction that we had today. I've been following it all through uh you know this morning, and I must say I am I'm very, very happy with the outcome of this. Uh, webinar today, and uh, thanks to the remarkable contribution, first of you as a presenter, but then uh, Dr. Mia, uh, Zainab. Closer to your mic, please, Dr. Bosraman. Closer to your mic, please. Um, I, mean, I said that I personally am very happy with the outcome of this uh, talk today, with this uh, webinar, and. Uh, and thanks once again to Dr. Omiya, Zainab, Lois, and Rishi for their wonderful contribution. And also to BJ, who is handling the technical aspect with his usual smile. And to you, Rama, for handling that so beautifully. Let me say that, uh, Dr. Omiya, I think you've discovered today, uh, like me, how uh, how fortunate we are to now connect with Lois Stratton, right? And we, we, I, I'm very happy that she's part of the team of for today, and that she could also be of great assistance to us in what we want to do for uh, Africa, South Africa in particular, and uh, with the program that we have with Commonwealth of Learning and so on. So I believe I leave it to you now to network. I've already. Uh, I'm already sending you the, the the email address of each one of you, and uh, I'm, I'm sure you can take it from there. And uh, you will find. Uh, uh, I'm sure we can we can uh, discuss and plan things together for the better for the welfare and the benefit of our African uh, brothers and sisters. So with these words. From my side, I must thank all of you, and we will follow up uh, with whatever we've discussed. And I would, uh, I would uh, also like to have a chat with you, Dr. Omiya, after this, a quick co a co a call immediately after this conference, so that we can. I would like to exchange a few ideas, uh, views with you. So, with these words, Rama, once again, thank you. Yeah, let me, let me thank the viewers. Let me thank the viewers. And thanks to all of them, to all of you, for this beautiful day. I feel very happy about it, and I'm sure we'll have more happy days like that. We will be sharing this link on YouTube, and on, uh, it's, it, is, it was live on Facebook, and you can also share it because I believe it is a great, uh, uh, you know, uh, a great uh, message that we can send to visually impaired persons across uh, the world. Thank you. OK, thank you very much. So I, I will, I will just continue. Just a request uh, with uh, kind yes, permission please. of GRF. We would like to share the entire video on our India Bookshare YouTube channel, which is yeah, viewed definitely. by thousands of people every month. So oh, yes. please. Definitely. Right. Uh, I'll, 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 if I privilege, honor and privilege, if you can do that, yes, Dr. Bosraman. We might ask Lois also if she wants; she can do the same on her side. Maybe. Uh, if I, if I may, uh, I will, I will um, download the video and I'll share a link so that you can have access to the video completely from there. That would be probably in the next couple of hours. Thank you, thank you, BJ. Et donc, uh, I will conclude in French uh, as I start the program. Donc, chers internautes, nous sommes presque arrivés à la fin de notre émission aujourd'hui. 
Alors, vous étiez en direct sur le plateau de GRF Web TV. Donc, je vous rappelle, chaque lundi, vous avez votre émission à cœur ouvert, chaque lundi, et avec moi-même comme animateur. Et nous avons d'autres émissions également, les mercredis avec Habib Moussaeb et les vendredis avec Vinay Ramkelawan. Donc, chers cher, euh, internautes, cela a été un plaisir de vous avoir ce matin. Donc, je, je vous souhaite à tous bon appétit et à la prochaine fois. Merci. Thank you very much. See you next time. Thank you.